Hello everyone and welcome back to Complicated Relationships Reddit Stories. Hope you guys are safe and healthy. Now let's see what the story is about today. In today's story, OP says, My wife started seeing an old co-worker. I got better and now she doesn't want me to go. We have been married for 8 years, together for 10 plus. We have an 8 year old and a 5 year old son. My wife also has 3 children from a previous marriage. When we first moved in together in 2013, she quit her job and was able to get an admin job at the company I was working for. During this time, her and this dude from that company hit it off and would carpool with her to the house and vice versa. Sometimes he would hang out at my house with me and I really didn't make much of it. I thought it was a healthy co-worker relationship. I knew the guy before I met my wife. The guy was married, we had hung out together him and his wife and me and my wife, well, girlfriend at the time, at Christmas parties, etc. It seems like a really healthy relationship. My wife would talk to me about what he would tell her and how his wife was pregnant and so on and so forth and I never made anything out of it. My wife only lasted at that job for about a year. We never hear from this dude again other than maybe social media. Fast forward a few years, I quit my job late 2017. I started my own real estate practice. Ever since I switched jobs, things have gone downhill. Mainly because the first year I used all my savings to keep afloat, did not make enough money to replace my old income and our lifestyle took a hit. I had to take odd jobs and side jobs that would not conflict with the start of my real estate career to keep up with bills and home expenses until my business would take off. After having our second child in 2015, her oldest moved out to go to college in 2018 and me starting real estate was a whirlwind of changes that took a hit in our relationship. We no longer seek the same things. She would complain about my disconnect from her and how I was never mentally there in the house, which I admit because the first year of real estate made me go into deep depressions and I was in a really dark place. Fast forward to 2020, we had an argument where she mentioned that she was craving for attention because I wasn't giving it to her. There was no intimacy for like months at a time. My wife spends all day watching movies even at the time that I'm at home. She never cares to put the kids to bed, never cared to do anything else once she is done with her work and I was mostly scrolling through my phone. I decided to take a trip to go and see my mom. I told her to come with me but she said she couldn't do it because she had to quarantine before she can get back to work and that I should go, me and the boys. While away I had this weird vibe from her. She was treating me as we were friends on the phone and via IM. It was very weird and inexplicable. Long story short, I get back from the trip and she tells me that I think you and I are in the process of breaking up. There is no intimacy and you don't seem to be happy, etc. I told her that I was indeed in a dark place and not feeling emotionally well, mainly because of my relationship with her and how things were not according to expectation at work, but that I wanted to pull through and we still have a 50-50 chance of salvaging our marriage if that's how you feel. We started the process of figuring out what we were going to do with our marriage. I also started going to counseling for my depression. Long story short, I pulled myself out, focusing on work, exercise and healthy eating. My business takes off in the ways of I couldn't even imagine and while all this was happening, we are still in the same bed, still married, trying to figure it out. One day, I get a text from that dude's wife with all the screenshots of my wife and him talking, meeting up for lunches, calling each other's babe, sending each other videos and pictures, her saying how she loves his voice and how he wants to see her, etc. All this happened while I was gone, before we had the conversation of, I think we are in the process of breaking up. It gets even worse. There was a text from 2013, the day that I proposed to her, she was telling him that I proposed to her and how she had a sweet dream with him. I called her up and I told her that we needed to talk about this dude and asked her if she met up with him. She says yes and there was some serious making out. I confronted her with the pictures of her and him in what appeared to be a house. 
She did not tell me where it was because it would sound worse than what it is. I took a day to soak it all in and the next day I told her that we are just raising kids. I don't want to be with you and as soon as we figure out how we are going to arrange things with the kids, I'm out. She literally tells me that this was my easy way out. Excuse me, what did you say? I'm not the one who went out and met with an idiot who cannot even count to 100 and is a garbage father to his kids and wife, has been in jail and is on probation at the moment. God was good to allow me to see this guy the next day. I encountered him at an office and confronted him. He ran. I told my wife that they both thought there wouldn't be any consequences for their actions. My wife and I had a talk after I calmed down and to her it was just a minor mistake. Did I mention that she ended her previous marriage with an infidelity on her side as well? In my mind, she gave up on me before she even told me. Her actions spoke louder than her words. And now, I'm making solid money, have a 3 plus year real estate practice, have lost 20 pounds, eating healthy, reading, etc. She sees how I pulled myself out of depression and doing great. Now she is thinking that she should keep me. But for me, I don't see how we can get past that and how we get back to loving each other when the ultimate disrespect has committed. In my mind, this thing is over and I don't see any other way. End of part 1. We have the update coming up, but before that, if you are enjoying the story so far, please give a thumbs up. Thanks. Here is the update. I filed for divorce this week. My son's birthday was postponed due to weather about two weeks ago. So, I, just me, decided to invite three of his friends to have a party in my in-laws backyard this past weekend. My wife couldn't make it to the original birthday party and couldn't make it to the second one either because she had work. We actually had a birthday party at our house with the whole family on the actual day of his birthday. This past weekend in the morning, she comes and tells me that I was using this birthday party to hurt her because she couldn't be there. What? I thought this was our first conversation not children related in about a week and it had been building up because I have been doing a 180 and just trying to stay out of her way. I called her selfish because she was thinking about her when it should be about the kid. I also told her that I was contacting a lawyer to start divorce proceedings. She flipped and it turned into a huge argument, all because I called her out on what she did. After the argument, I had to go and meet one of my clients. Literally, 10 minutes after I left, she wasted no time in logging into my business account and transferred half of the money to a checking account that she had opened recently. She sent me a message later that day and said she was sick to her stomach for everything that has happened. She hasn't slept in our house since and has been staying with her parents. I talked to her parents and told them everything. I even have a picture of her and the guy at her parents' house when they were out of town. In my mind, she showed her true colors. I had to call the bank to have the money returned, had to change my password and the logging information. My boys have been with me all week. She took them to stay with her tonight. The sheriff knocked at my door looking to serve her and there's a high chance that she will get served tomorrow and I have a hearing in mid-May. Thank you everyone. It has been a weird two months to say the least. It's been a fast flip and I'm hoping the feelings of sadness and anger would go away so she and I can start the healing process. We have reached to the end of the story. I'm just glad that he's moving on with his life. Clearly, she is someone who will stay with one person when it suits her and her needs. Otherwise, she is looking elsewhere. He should tell her that he is not looking for a fair with her wife. If she doesn't love him, he has to let her go. Of course, it will hurt. However, he is a successful businessman, can live an interesting lifestyle, he can communicate with other women. Then, after a while, he will be able to find a good life partner. Before we end for the day, let's listen to a few comments by the beautiful community. Obladi Oblada says, Okay, you have decided to leave. No one will fault you there. No. She absolutely wouldn't have done that. But please also take lessons for your next relationship. Your wife was rejected and now lonely, with no end in sight. You seems to have expected her to live like that, 
until you figured things out. No, she should not have cheated. That is never okay, but I'm surprised that she did not leave first. OP's reply. 100% I'm no victim. I am to be blamed for our troubles too. But if her betrayal is a wake up call to make me see that I'm messed up, if I couldn't give her what she wanted before, then I don't think I can give her what she wants now. Jaisal84 says, Sorry man, did you know that she cheated in her previous marriage before you married her? OP's reply, I did. She said she did it because her husband would be playing video games all day. I told her after finding this out that she need to seek help because her pattern is clear. Every time she has some type of problem in a relationship, the way she thinks that it will be solved by finding someone else. One for naught says, We only have a partial picture of things based on what you have written here, but I get a sense that she is trying to turn the responsibility over to you and saying that it was a mistake and you should not break the marriage. The implication seems to be that if it does break your marriage, it is because you made a big deal out of it and was too fragile to just let things go. If this is right, I would say your marriage is over because reconciliation absolutely requires full accountability and acknowledgement of what she did. Also, sincere willingness to work on rebuilding the relationship better than it was. Either find a good counsellor that you are both willing to work with or get out sooner rather than later. End of the story. Hope you enjoyed the video as much as I did recording it for you. Please like, comment and share the story if you enjoyed it. Also, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be notified when we upload the next video. Take care.